What's going on you guys? My name is Dev, back here from D-Loan, and as my last video told you, I am finally back from vacation. This is probably the last time I'm going to say that. Maybe. Maybe I'll say it in my next video too. Um, and today we're talking about Monday Night Raw. I know it is Wednesday and I usually do these videos on Tuesday, but I still want to do it anyway because I've been keeping up with Raw every single week telling you about Raw. And this is probably a good way for people who don't really watch Raw to get their information about what happened on Raw. So, if you guys enjoy these types of videos, please like, subscribe. Hopefully you guys enjoy these types of videos because this is the type of videos I do right now. I'm probably going to start doing my NBA videos as well. I'm going to do NBA videos and WWE videos at the same time. So, yeah, if you enjoy that, get big and strong like me. Yeah. So, we're talking about Monday Night Raw. This is our Monday Night Raw review, but I have to say something real quick. I feel like I have to say this every single week now. Um, not in every video, but I feel like I have to do this every single week. RP Sid, um, Psycho Sid, Sid Justice, or Sid Vicious, whatever you want to call him. Um, or Sid Edie, his real name. Um, I feel like I have to do this every week. I feel like a new WWE legend passes away every week. But, um, um, I feel like I have to do that every week because I'm just paying my respect. I'm paying my respect, saying RIP to that man because... He did a lot for the business. Yeah. Just like how Alpha and Sika did a lot. Oh, my neck. So. So, we're going to talk about this episode of Monday Night Raw, which was the um, August 26th edition of Monday Night Raw, which I did watch live. Not in the arena. I did watch live because... Um, that's when I got back from my vacation. I got back Monday. So, yeah. So, this episode of Monday Night Raw, we have... What does the Viper have in store before Bash in Berlin? Randy Orton. We have a triple threat match for the Intercontinental... The Intercontinental Championship title tournament begins tonight with... This is one of the triple threat matches that begins. Jey Uso, Kofi Kingston, and Karrion Cross. Then the other triple threat match between Pete Dunn, Xavier Woods, and The Miz. Then we got the judge, um, what does the judgment, what's the judgment day's next move? Cause they stood over the Terror Twins last week. Then we got Uncle Howdy's debut against Chad Gable. And then we got Brunson Reed versus Braun Strowman. So, we got Braun Strowman walking in to Monday Night Raw. The big, one big S. We also got Chad Gable walking in with American Maid. We got Bronson Reed, the big behemoth. Then we got the we got the doll. I want to see Bronson Reed versus him. I don't know why. I want. So we start off the uh, Monday Night Raw with the Judgment Day. Now her laugh is really like a Harley Quinn laugh. Ah ha ha ha. And, uh, Bash in Berlin. Bash in Berlin. Bash in Berlin. She's gonna beat you. Then Ray Mysterio came out and say, and say, someone needs to put you in your place. Puppy. You're even a bigger jackass. Oh, it breaks down. And then they had a... 
the LWO versus the um, Judgment Day match. Dominic beat him. I didn't even see that. I was in the shower. Dominic beat him. And then we had Team Forehead, aka the Pure Fusion Collective Society, against, which is still the assest name in wrestling, versus, um, um, wait, who did they face? I forgot who they were facing. See, that's how, that's how not even serious those matches are, because I didn't even realize who they were facing or what was happening. What a boat. Look, okay, I'm just show you Zelina. Yes, yeah, Zelina. Oh, it was damage control versus them. Hit the, hit the insane elbows. Moon Soul insane elbows. Damage control wins. There's no keeping Zelina Vega. Then we had Drew McIntyre come out. Now, not the him mocking the CM Punk shit. on a rampage. CM Punk came out. Ooh! Yeah, they're having a strap match. Strap match. Talk shit, get whipped. That's what it just said. Talk shit. Get. Then we had the triple threat match to just see who's going to win. Or the Intercontinental Championship triple threat um, to see who faces Braun Breaker. Jey Uso hit the spear. He's going to the top rope. Uso splash. One, two, three. Jey Uso advances. Because he's Jey Uso. Yeet. Yeet. Yeah. Why can I not hear nothing anymore on Instagram? Instagram. Oh my god. Okay, let me see if it fixed it, guys. Okay. 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 I don't think they have that much left on Raw. Swear. I want to see what Randy has to say. I'm so conflicted. Is Randy gonna win or is Go I think Gunther's still gonna retain? But Rand but Randy's talking like he's gonna win. Yeah, 
those demons. Just like I'm going to beat you this Saturday and become a 15 time world heavyweight champion. And if you're curious at all exactly how I intend on doing that, but I'm going to let you in on a little secret. I'm going to do it by using the three most dangerous letters in sports entertainment. R. K. O. And then we had the other triple threat match, which was also a pretty good match. And Pete Dunne is the one who actually advanced. Pete Dunne advances. I like the Pete Dunne push. Oh. Uncle Howdy is laughing. Oh, because Wyatt Six came out. They all started attacking American Maid. Ivy Nile jumped on the back. Oh, I forgot to talk about the Braun Strowman match. <laughs> He's under the ring. It says CF Punk is under the ring. We have Randy signing an autograph because Randy's Randy, we we love you, Randy. We we love you, Randy. The Judgment Day. Uh, so you believe Samantha Irving getting the hell out the way. Bite to you. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to mention the Terror Twins came out. Oh, good. the Terror Twins. Oh, cause they attacked um, Liv. Oh, she grabbed Liv. And then Dominic stuck on the top rope. Now he can't go nowhere cause Damien's over there and he. I forgot to mention the Bronson Reed versus um, Braun Strowman match. Braun Strowman just threw security guards. Look, his ass went through the table. And then he threw another one. Yeah, and then um, this is how the match ended. This wasn't even a part of the match because they exited the ring for more than 10 seconds. Ah, a tsunami! And then Uncle Howdy makes his debut entrance. And then, wait, what was the last thing? What was the last? Oh, Uncle Howdy beat Chad Gable. He beat him. Uncle Howdy wins. So if you guys enjoyed this Raw review, please like, subscribe. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. See you guys again next time. Uh, I'll be back here. And hopefully you enjoy. Peace.